भारतीय स्टेट बैंक प्रत्येक भारतीय बैंकर Fifty-nine years ago, on July 1st, 1955, by virtue of the, an act of Parliament, Imperial Bank of India was christened as the State Bank of India, and since then, the day is being observed as a State Bank Day. The bank, however, traces its ancestry to British India through the Imperial Bank of India to the founding. In 1806, a bank of Calcutta, making it oldest commercial bank in the Indian subcontinent. The first five years of independent India launched in 1951, which aim at serving the Indian economy in general and the rural sector of the country. In particular, is an important turning point in the history of the state. Bank of India. Previously, the commercial banks of the country, including the Imperial Bank of India, confined their services to the urban sector. With the passage of time, the SBI blossomed into a mighty institution with a strong national and international presence and operations. This is an indication of the growth. Rise and public faith with the bank. I find that after 59 years, the bank, with its associates known as SPI Group, has over 22,000 branches at the service of the nation, and SPI has many as 14 circles in the country. In Odisha, it has now as many as 779 branches. I am told. That it is enjoying a market share of 23 percent in the Indian domestic banking market. Besides India, SBI has more than 195 foreign offices in 36 foreign countries. During its journey of 59 years, SBI has traversed a long way, playing a pivotal role in developing India's rural sector by providing. The financing needed to modernize the country's agricultural industry and allied sectors on which majority of population depends for livelihood, also for the development of the country's infrastructure, and above all, in shaping the country's economy. It has long been an arm of the Indian government's infrastructure, agriculture, and industrial development policies. The nationalization of the banking sector in 1969, however, gave SBI new prominence as the country's leading bank. SBI has carved a distinct identity for its excellence in banking. It has a glorious tradition of being pioneers in many respects. Today, the bank has successfully utilized. Technology with all its branches computerized, ATMs at almost all locations, introduced core banking, and has a strong network base with a multitude of services on offer to customers. SBI has taken several initiatives in the field of financial inclusion and customer-centric products and services. All these imply a bank's continued commitment. To customers and provide a sound foundation for the growth momentum that the vision envisages. I find that the Bhubaneswar Circle of SPI was established in the year 1979, but much before it, in 1868, the first branch of the erstwhile Bank of Madras, which was later known as Imperial Bank of India, was opened at Berambu. It is a matter of pride that Perambur Circle has achieved a number of laurels in many areas of banking sector, and recently added another feather to its cap by securing fourth best position among 14 circles of the bank in the country. I am particularly happy to know that the Bhubaneswar Circle, on its 
5th Foundation Day has made the occasion memorable by donating multi-purpose ambulance and by adopting 35 girls child belonging to poor families from various villages of Odisha. By doing so, it has gone a step further, reiterating its commitment towards corporate social responsibility. I understand that poor girl child adoption is for the education of girl child and release expenses to make her stand on her own feet with head high, with confidence and self-respect. Female literacy is a potent remedy against most of the ills affecting our society, such as poverty, unemployment, backwardness, and malnutrition. It is said that when we educate a boy, we educate one individual, whereas when we educate a girl, we educate a family. By this yardstick, the SPI Bopinishwar Circle has laid foundations for the bright future of 35 families. This is commendable and this investment will yield rich dividend in future. I sincerely wish that more, than, more and more PSUs may follow this noble example of Pobinishwar Circle and take similar pro-poor initiatives. India is known as a country of villages and agriculture and allied activities are the backbone for the economic development of the country. In Odisha, agriculture plays a significant role in the overall socioeconomic fabric. Here, SPI has a key role towards improving socioeconomic condition in the state. In view of government's emphasis on doubling the target of agriculture credit, the bank has to ensure efficient delivery and responsive mechanism. SPI being the first commercial bank to come up with financing to agriculture sector way back in late 1950s is seen with great expectation from the farming community. Given the present day development in the state and all the prospect, it is necessary that the State Bank of India along with other banks participate with full commitment in the developmental and social work aimed at the growth of Odisha and uplifting of the poor and the downtrodden. The prevailing situation in Odisha is both a challenge and an opportunity for the bankers to show their social responsibility by dispersing more and more consumption loan, farm loans, Kishan credit cards, general purposes credit cards to all poor and marginal farmers as well as rescheduling agriculture loan accounts. Similarly, there is an onerous need to expedite implementation of several government-sponsored schemes for providing easy credit to the self-employed, self-help groups and small industries. The Indian banking system has made phenomenal strides in the volume of its business and diversification of its activities, particularly after nationalization in 1969. However, I would like to urge upon the bank to adopt innovative methods to make them economically viable, not compromising with proper outreach to the rural poor and priority sector. The initiatives of the policy makers and banks in this direction will pave the way to achieve the long cherry dream of inclusive growth and to transform the rural India in a big way. Foundation Day celebrations have great significance in the annals of an institution. It is an occasion to look back at the long journey so far, the lessons learned through the years, and to synthesize a strategy to meet emerging challenges of the future. Today is also an opportunity to rededicate to the pursuit of excellence. By excellence, I mean the addressing quality which surpasses the fleeting goals and transitory pursuits. Excellence in customer service is a benchmark that the bank will always strive to achieve. You may remind yourself that you are unified by a common goal 
serving the community and the nation at large. The mission and vision can be achieved, I personally believe, only through cooperation and commitment from every member of the SPI family. Individuals can achieve successes, but together each achieves more success. It is this mantra of teamwork that will see SPS scale new heights of glory and continue to be trusted name in the vast expanse of the country. There is every scope for the growth. While immense opportunities for growth are there, the challenges are also equally overwhelming. SPI has to raise its bar to meet the challenges and capitalize on the emerging opportunities, particularly in the field of retail banking. A constant challenge that remains is to identify new risks and strengthen banking business to keep pace with the changes in technology. Embracing for tomorrow, SPI should consolidate its position in banking sector with constant upgradation and revalidation of banks' internal system and processes. To achieve this, both the management and the employees have to play a vital role. SPI success lies in building effective partnership and networking with all the agencies in the business of development which can enable the bank to expand its outreach. Toward this, and SPI with a strong and efficient workforce should facilitate organizational structuring which would make the institution very, very relevant. To thrive, customers and customer service must be the priority sector for the bank and it needs constant innovation. Customer satisfaction continues to be the hallmark of all business ventures and definitely the banks are no exception to this. On this occasion, let me reiterate that the trust and confidence SBI has built during all these years and the laurels earned through unstinted commitment to customers have to be upheld and all concerned should strive to improve its reputation and performance. In conclusion, I wish State Bank of India Pupineshwar struggle more and more growth and commercial success with financial services of great value in its area of operations and active participation in the upliftment of the downtrodden in Odisha in the days ahead. I also wish the girls adopted by the bank to make best use of this opportunity to become educated and be responsible citizens of the country. I once again wish SPI Parivar all the very best for the future. Jai. Thank you.